Aloha my friends, welcome back to my Minecraft channel. My name is Sacred Lotus and to episode 6 of Let's Play Minecraft, Never Have I Ever. And as you can see, as you've seen in the time lapse, we have made quite a bit of progress on the house. Um, did quite a bit of the upper store of the upper floor uh, we fitted in windows down here made a staircase um, and worked on the upper floor and I even made a start on the roof section although I might have to take it down and redo it because um, it looks kind of odd um, the shape of it looks rather odd and um, I want it to look a little symmetrical so um, but 
before I can do that, I'm probably going to end up needing to raise these walls just a little bit. Just so they're slightly even in height. And um, I'm going to try and make this bit look good. I mean, I do like the pattern I've got here. It's that kind of random, but um, I'm not sure if I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm going for a, like a 17th century style aesthetic um, with the with the different colored terracotta because um, if you haven't guessed already I'm from England and so I'm quite used to seeing houses with this sort of pattern in the in the in the building design with the white wall and um, black or br dark dark colored um, beams uh, set into the in the, into the wall uh, okay so yeah that's I think I'm feeling pretty good about the house actually so um I think we're at a point where we can officially we can sort of move into the house from our start house so let me quickly get um, a little bit of furnishing down here um, I'm gonna leave the fireplaces to last because I absolutely love building fireplaces in Minecraft and working chimneys so I want to leave that to last so Let's get my stuff from the other house and we will uh, sort of move in with the cats as well. See you soon. Okay guys, so we are fully, we're sort of moved in now. We've got the bare, we've got the bare minimum of what we had in the other house. And I set up a little bedroom area because the upstairs isn't ready yet to, ha to live in. So we're going to sleep down here until it is. Aren't we jelly? And you're liking the nice blue bed, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so, let's get into today's episode. Never have I ever built an iron farm. Let me get to the right page. Episode 6, built an iron farm. Okay, so we've got... This is a relatively shorter list than previous episodes. But um, there's still quite a bit to do for it. Um, I need to find an area for an iron farm. The, the, I'm using quite a simple design. The design is quite a small and simple. It's just what I need for it, for, for what I need for the iron farm. So I um, need to find an area because we need a flat area to build the farm. Um, I need to gather some lava and soul sands um i think there's some lava pools somewhere near about um where we where we li where our base is but we will need to go to the never and find a soul sand valley i assume that's the is that is that the only place you can find soul sand i'm not 100 percent sure um but we're gonna have to make another venture to the to the nether for a single piece of soul sand um, and then we need to find some villagers and a zombie um, because, because if you haven't noticed um, last couple of in the last couple of episodes I'm going to show you the um, village is a tad bit quiet now um, in between recording videos I accidentally triggered a raid and let's just say the, the villagers kinda didn't make it so um, I was trying to live stream from here and um, be right before I went live that day I triggered a raid and all hell broke loose um, I even had to rebuild my roof because they brought a ravager 
I've never fought a Ravager in my in my life before that day. And let's just say the Ravager met its end rather painfully because it threatened Jelly. To put it bluntly, nobody threatens my pets and gets away with it. Okay, so guys, um, been doing a little bit of work off camera to save some time on the video. And I've cleared out a space up here on the other side of the village uh, for the farm. I constructed a temporary hut thing for where the villagers will stay while I'm building stuff because I feel I should maybe get them here before I build the farm. That saves some headache, headaches later. And um, I've got a few bits that I think will do us for the duration of the task. Uh, I made a fourth minecart for the zombie. Um, somehow I will get a zombie up there somewhere. Um, so yeah, um, next task is to get some of the tricky to get items. Um, which does include going to the nether um, well this actually does include going to the nether to get soul sand and a bucket of lava now, I should only need the one according to the instructions I'm following um, the the um, tutorial I'm following for the um, I'm fine. I will leave a link for that in the descri description box if you guys are interested in following along. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Deep breath. Scary note.
just about there, ready to ready to build our iron farm. We just need the villagers and to, and a zombie. So I'm gonna take my boats back and forth and to a village and see if we can wrangle up some new friends. One villager side headache later. Guys, we are just about ready to start building the iron farm now. I think I've got everything I could need. Um, the only thing I still need to get a hold of is the zombie friend. Um, but I'm going to leave that to last. Just so that I can make sure these guys get up there without any issues. I'm uh, still concerned about getting them up there because I had a bit of trouble getting them here to begin with. So <laughs> they uh, kept wandering off. So I'm going to... Uh, make a start. First we're gonna make a little safety puddle so that if we were to fall um, we won't die or anything. Nothing can spawn here. And we can do that. Okay, I want to make sure I've got everything I need in my inventory so I don't have to keep coming down. Uh, ten blocks, still sand. I think that should do us for the time being. Soul sand and the trapdoors first. Okay, so we're going to go ten blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to place the soul sand and a temporary block and we're going to place seven trapdoors around the temporary block so we press F No, I don't want to place that there. Thank you. 
Play strong. Okay. Okay, close the trap doors and place the water. this. Okay. Place beds, place three beds next to each other in the opening. Place them in the correct position. There we go. And next, we place ten trapdoors around the heads of the beds. next to the beds and then another five above those. Close the bed trap doors. We do it on daylight. You know? Anyway, okay. Next, place slabs in the front of the in front of the trap doors. tutorial said. I'm hoping so. Then build a 3 by 2 platform above the beds. Okay. 
Bridge out two blocks, place a chest and the, on your four hoppers. I should be safe up here, in theory. I'm gonna put a torch up here just in case. And a one on there. Place the chest and two hoppers. Build a wall around this uh, five by three. Okay guys, I had a look back at the instructions of the, of the tutorial that I'm following and it would seem I've placed a few bits wrong so I'm gonna take some of this down and start again from where I made the mistake. Here's where I made the mistake. I need to replace the slabs at the top of the trapdoors. And then I needed to go up a full block. Then we can do the platform 2 by 3 
bridge two, and then you want your chest on the hoppers. this where we do remaining um, instructions. So re rebuild the rest of what we did. So I'm going to put back the rest of the blocks and we'll see if we can get the villagers up. As you can see I've actually built a track that goes from their little house into here. Um, I'm not really sure where the zombie's gonna go. I think it's supposed to go there. I think. I'm not 100% really sure. Um, I'll probably have to refer back to the tutorial again. So, um, see you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys. So I think I fixed the issue I was having with the um, block placement, and I've also uh, readjusted readjusted the track a bit because I had a look at the tutorial again and where I had the end of the track placed was not going to fly for the um, rail so I'm at, I can I think I can get these guys in now so I'm gonna check the time I've got half a day left I've got about 10 minutes so Put that down. Hopefully, get one of these guys in. Excuse me. Come back here. Get that went in. No problem. make sure he doesn't get out while I'm trying to get the other guys in. I can get in there but he can't. That should be that should keep them in there. While I get the other guys. Where's my cart gone? It's over there. Gotcha. to go next. Yay! Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, dude. Can you get in? Get those things. Last one. Your turn now, mister. together. to wait for night and catch a zombie and um, give the guy an item to hold I think that should do right clear up this track and um, rearrange it and we can catch our fat self of a zombie friend okay guys sun is about to go down we are set up to accept a zombie friend I've got a stick I don't know if I should give him a stick or a redstone torch I've got plenty of those so um, uh, the instructions I'm following said to give it a name tag I'm assuming that's just so it doesn't despawn but um, I don't have any name tags so I'm going to give it an item instead so it should work just the same um, hopefully I get someone soon I don't want to get hang out, out too much at night I'm not particularly fond of hanging around at night anyone wanting to come play? Zombos! Where are my Zombo friends? Hello, Zombos! Where are you? Zombos! Woo! Aha, this is Umbo Friend. Hello. Hi.
Oh, jeez. Admission. The vacancy's taken, dear. Lots of problems. to play today guys we're trying it Let's try this again. Um, I fixed somewhat of the da some of the damage that the creeper did because um, I don't realise what happened. Um, our zombie friend kind of got out when I knocked him out of the minecart and knocked us off the platform. Which, right as I landed, a creeper decided to come try and give us a hug. And this, that is why there's holes everywhere. Um, so yeah, it was rather, and unfortunately the zombie we did catch, I had to uh, kill because he was gonna kill us. So, <laughs> he was gonna kill me instead. So, uh, I'm gonna find a different zombie. Um, I did a bunch of fishing off camera and I managed to get a name tag, so, we should have no issues and this time I'm going to probably take away the um, first block before I um, before I well release the zombie from its uh, cart ride so I gotta wait till night and um, let's see if we can catch another one See you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, show time. Uh, the sun has literally just gone down, and looks like we have a volunteer. Hey, guys. Come over here.
got you in here, but you've got gone off the track. That's before we. There you go. Now let's get you. Come on. Yes, got him. That's fine. for like a few minutes a few for like an hour or something and then we will see how it goes okay guys so the iron farm is relatively done all the functionality of it is sorted although I did kind of have the bright idea of maybe trying to put blocks around this edge to make it look a bit, look a bit nicer but um, for the moment, I just want it to function. So, so far we've had a little bit of iron produced already. Um, a couple of boobies did happen. Um, a couple of these guys spawned outside of the killing chamber. Um, so I'm gonna have to get rid of this guy before I can get any more iron out of this because it seems to only spawn one at a time right now so uh, that is a wrap for today's episode guys um, thank you got th I want to thank everyone for watching and uh, this will be uh, the this will be there will be a while before the next one because I am going to be taking a week off making videos um, just to chill out and do other things. I'll still, I will still be live streaming every day though. I, if you haven't, if you're not already following me over on my Twitch channel, I have been doing a stream marathon over on my Twitch channel lately to try and boost my num my viewer, my average viewer count, um, so I can at some point go for affiliate over there. Um, so if you want to hang out. And and such, you all would be you would be more than welcome to uh, head on over there. We would love to see you. So thank you guys again for very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.